ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಟುಡೆ ಹೌ ಟು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಡಯೋಡ್ ಸೊ ಡಯೋಡ್ ಭಾಳ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ತೋರಿ ರೆಕ್ಟಿಫೈರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಕ್ಲಿಪ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಪವರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈನ ತೊಗೊಳ್ರಿ ನೀವು ರೆಕ್ಟಿಫೈಯರ್ ಬ್ರಿಜ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಿಫೈಯರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಡಯೋಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೇ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಸೊ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ನೀವು ಡಯೋಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಅದು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ಡಯೋಡನ್ನ ನಾವು ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಡಯೋಡ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂಥೇಳಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಜಯ್ ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ so this is the experiment identify the terminals of diode and to test the diode for its condition so the apparatus required for this is a diode and a meter multimeter and a tabular column is there in that it is clearly mentioned forward and reverse that means when positive of the meter connected to the positive of diode that is p and negative of the diode Uh, connected to the negative that is common terminal of the meter so it is called as forward bias uh, so you have to write the reading when you are checking it and uh, during the reverse bias the positive of the meter should be connected to the negative edge or negative terminal of the diode and the negative of the uh, meter is connected to the positive terminal of the diode that is called as reverse bias so for both the condition we have to write the values and i will going to write directly in this book uh, so that it is easier for you to check the diodes so so the meter adjustment is like that you should keep the meter in a diode mode so the diode mode you should keep the meter while you are checking the diode so the indicator diode type will come on the display and it is uh, written ol that ol means that it is a open circuit or infinite resistance in some other meters it will show one type uh, signal also both the uh, both are uh, you have to consider it as open circuit or infinity resistance so now i will going to show you how to check a junction diode so already you know so this is the silver ring of the junction diode in 4007 so the silver side is negative and the other one is obvious positive there are two terminal one is positive and another one is negative so now i will hold the meter in such a way that the positive of this meter indicates p that is positive and negative red uh the, sorry black as a negative n terminal so when i held p to p and n to n so see the meter readings 0.534 volts it is showing 0.534 or 533 so that i will going to write over here 0.533 volts so you have to write it clearly secondly when i change the polarity of the meter that is negative to positive positive to negative see the meter will show ol that i explained earlier ol means it is a open circuit okay so it is a infinite resistance also we can consider in some other meters it will show 1 so that i will going to write here as ol similarly when you are checking the other diodes so you have to follow the same method so here one diode is there its number is by 127 it is also a junction diode so the dome type structure is there that is the negative uh, pin you have to consider and the other one is obvious positive 
again i will held positive to positive negative to negative see the meter reading 0.512 volts so next i will change uh, the polarity that is negative to positive positive to negative see the meter is showing ol over here so the same reading i will going to write so for this by 127 so positive to positive negative to negative 0.509 so here i will going to write this is in 4007 readings this is by 127 reading so this is 0.509 the meter is showing 0.509 volts and when i reverse it negative to positive positive to negative the meter is showing ol in some other meter it will show also one also both are correct next we are going to check a zener diode uh, for the zener diode a letter z will come in the symbol so here in the polarity of the meter one black strip is there here i will showing with the meter probe so this is the black strip so this you have to consider it as a negative pin and n or negative pin so other one is obvious positive or p so now i will going to uh, check in the meter so positive to positive negative to negative so the reading is, this is called as forward bias positive to positive negative to negative the reading showing in the meter 0.678 volts so that i will going to write over here 0.678 volt this is for zener diode checking next i will change for the reverse bias that is negative to positive positive to negative see the meter again it is showing ol or open circuit so that i will going to write over here so in one table we are checking three types of diodes one is in 4007 by 127 both are rectifier diodes and their respective readings also i have written and the third one is the zener diode and that reading also i have written next similarly we can check in 4148 means it is a glass diode so it look like similarly as a zener diode works as different but the meter checking process is the same for the glass diode also in 4148 yes already you know how to check the different diodes that is in 4007 by 127 and zener diode and the values also you got these values are clearly mentioned as knee voltages of that particular diodes or oh, or barrier potential also we can call and clearly it is written over here it is a knee voltage so in our lab we are using a silicon diode for the silicon diode the knee voltage is in between 0.6 to 0.7 okay and that values are displayed over here that is 0.533 0.509 0.678 are the knee voltages readings that you will get when you are checking in the multimeter and for the germanium ones the knee voltage is in between 0.25 to 0.3 so that that are not in our lab so we are not uh, testing the germanium diodes so only we are concentrating on the, uh, the silicon diodes and their knee voltages